Uputu Kont, uh, as people will always say, Uti Mput. He was a brother to, to almost everyone. He was a brother to the entire community of Lupani. He was a brother to Aban Bogoblawa. Yes. Uh, Mina personally, uh, I was privileged enough to, to, to actually live and work with the Klanga family. I taught most of his siblings, I taught his young brothers. Two of them are late. Uh, I also had the opportunity to meet uh, his mother uh, during her, her, her life and uh, we were able to converse in jail and uh, you know basically her children were talented in the arts industry. Uh, they were, they were, it, it was God given talent. You give them something artistic to do, you get a splendid job done. So Conti, that's what he was. And then when he retired and came, Uzo Sale Kaya Kaya, and he, he rebuilt his homestead, you know, he did it with the, the aplomb of uh, an artist, you know, somebody who was culturally centered. I'm sure you'll get a glimpse of his home. You, you'll see what sort of person he was, the, the mind he had, you know, the creativity. You know, the, 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 the film room there, the kitchen there, behind the kitchen, a small little orchard where he was, you, he would make his own uh, original uh, fruit drinks in the morning, and the bedroom with the street leading to the bedroom with uh, lights, street lights, chandeliers, you know, from just roots, uh, uprooted trees facing downwards, the fog in the end was splendid. Uko Kondi was, he was, he was, uh, he was something that you can't describe. He was, he was, he was an artistic legend. He was a hero. He was um, more than what most people can be in life. And he was a more than a life figure. He inspired everyone.